Zhang and a city on human scale. The topic of this project is Zhang in a city on human scale. The goal is to create an environmentally friendly and livable city. In order to get the target, two aspects need to be considered. The first is to study the present cities, find the problems, and get a livable city as the style picture. The second is to study human behavior, draw the diagram, and generate the pattern. A lot of those are making preparation for style transfer. Today, most of our cities aren't friendly to human, because of the large-scale blocks and a lot of cars on the roads. For example, there are a lot of flyovers on the roads. The sidewalk is eroded by cars and buildings. Even Hatong, which was built several hundred years ago, is full of parked cars. These pictures show that our cities are more concerned with cars. The size of block in Beijing is huge. Although the block of Tokyo and Barcelona is smaller, people will also suffer from noise and pollution produced by cars. So what do we need to do when we create a humanized city? We can start from two aspects. One is the scale of street, another is human behavior. The book Great Streets was written by Alan B. Jacobs. He said the density of roads reflects if the city is friendly to walk. Beijing and Washington are suitable for cars. In contrast, Paris is more suitable for walk. According to the research of human behavior and community, it is better that people can get what they need in 15 min, about 1 km distance around. This is a diagram of super community. It includes three kinds of action radius, and the location of different kinds of centers. The block is very large, each side has 1.7 kilometers. It is also assumed that cars can't be allowed in if not necessary. The super community is not imaginary. Barcelona has been building super blocks, and gives space back to daily life. Four super communities will form a district. People can arrive their workplace in 30 min. Three sizes of elements generate the field. Each size correspond one action radius. The element is made by a fabricated structure. Objects in different directions interweave together. Form many roads and areas. As we know, many cities were built by a simple regular. Such as Beijing, Xi'an, and Lijiang, they are composed by city wall, neighborhood, and courtyard. Although they have different scales, all of them have the same topological relation. So the simple regular can be used to generate three kinds of layers. Lay them together and get the final pattern. The pattern is suitable for the boundary of the site. Antwerp is a Middle Ages city. It has dense roads. The roads cross each other and form many nodes. What's more, Antwerp has a similar climate of Zhongen. So Antwerp is chosen as the target city. Then use style transfer to generate the final result. The buildings and roads are extremely dense. But it also has many open areas. The boundary is gradually varied, from city to farmland. It is a detail picture. The open area can be green land, park and community square. At the boundary, the areas can be farmland, community center and city square. From the model we can clearly see how dense it could be for a pedestrian city. The big blocks could be office buildings and the small blocks could be living buildings. Many roads cross each other and will form many interesting public spaces. The video will show what kind of life a pedestrian city could bring to us. In the project, the city was planned from a problem. What's more, the new technology, artificial intelligence, was used to generate a bottom-to-up city. The result is just one of all kinds of possibilities, but it show a broad prospect of technology application.